disbelieve and deny it. We are doing Surah Al-Baqarah, Ayah number 39. وَالَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا وَكَزَّبُوا بِآيَاتِنَا أُولَيْكَ أَصْحَابُ النَّارِ هُمْ فِيهَا خَالِدُونَ But those who disbelieve and deny our ayahs, proof, evidences, verses, lessons, signs, revelations, such are the dwellers of the fire. Because they are denying and they shall be there in forever. So Allah says, قُلْ نَحْبِتُوا مِنْهَا جَمِيًا فَقْ إِمَّا يَتِيَنَّكُمْ مِنِّي هُدَى We said, get down all of you from this place, the Jannah. Then whenever there comes to you, hudan, guidance from me. Allah stated, when he sent Adam al-Islam, Hawa al-Islam, and shaitan to earth from Jannah. He gave the warning, warned them that he will reveal the books and send prophets and messengers to them, i.e. to their offspring. So Al-Huda refers to the prophets, messengers, clear signs and plain explanation. Faman tabiya hudaya and whoever follows my guidance, meaning whoever accepts what is uh, contained in my book and what I send the messengers. So here uh, talking about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala send the different messengers. And with them, فَلَا خَوْفٌ عَلَيْهِمْ There shall be no fear on them regarding the hereafter. وَلَهُمْ يَحْزَنُونَ Nor shall they grieve. So regarding the life of this world, in Surah Taha we learn Surah number 20, Ayah number 123. قُلْ نَحْبِتَا مِنْهَا جَمِيًا بَعْدُكُمْ لِبَعْدٍ عَدُوُّ فَإِمَّا يَتِيَنَّكُمْ مِنِّي هُدًا فَمَنْ تَبَا هُدَايَا فَلَا يَدِلُّ وَلَا يَشْفَى He Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, get down. Get you down from the Jannah to earth. Both of you together, some of you are an enemy to some others. Then if there comes to you guidance from me, then whoever follows my guidance, he shall neither go astray nor shall be distressed. So Ibn Abbas, he commented, he will not be misguided in this life or miserable in the hereafter. So this ayah, وَمَنْ أَعْرَدَ أَنْ ذِكْرَ فَإِنَّا لَهُ مَعِيشَةً دَنْكَوْ وَنَحْشُرُوهُ يَوْمَ الْكِيَامَ This is mentioned in Surah number 20, Ayah number 124, Qiyama Ama. But whoever, whosoever turns away from my reminder, Zikr, neither believes in the Quran nor acts on its teaching, verily for him is a life of hardship. And we shall raise him blind on the day of resurrection. So similar to what Allah said, وَالَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا وَكَذَّبُوا بِآيَاتِنَا أُولَيْكَ أَصْحَابُ النَّارِ هُمْ فِيهَا خَالِدُونَ So this is ayah number 40. So Allah says for them, like uh, if they deny, for the denial, that will be the end result. And they will be uh, in the fire forever and ever. It's not like a temporary. Like when we die, in the, then we are in the berserk, then the day of judgment, and finally into Jannah or Jahannam. But because of the وَالَّذِينَ كَفَرُ وَكَذَّبُوا بِآيَاتِنَا And those who disbelieve, كَذَّبُوا deny, lie, بِآيَاتِنَا Our signs, وَلَائِكَ Those أَصْحَابٌ أَصْحَابُ كَمْتَانِ أَنَّا فَائِرْهُمْ فِيهَا خَالِدٌ They will dwell there in forever. And those who disbelieve and deny our signs, those will be the companions of the fire. They will abide therein eternally. Ya bini Israel alas kuru nimati yallati an amtu alaykum wa awfu bi ahdi ufi bi ahdikum wa iyaya farhabun. Ya bani Israel. Again and again, bani Israel will be mentioned. Any reminders to bani Israel, O bani Israel, O children of Israel, remember. Uzgur is a uh, imperative. Remember, Nemati, my favor is from Nema Allah ti which an amtu I bestowed who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alaykum upon you. 
وَآوفُ أَن يُفُلْفِلْ بِأَحْدِ مَاي كَوْنِنْ أُوفِي أَيْ فُلْفِلْ بِأَحْدِ كُمْ يَوْ كَوْنِنْ بَإِيَّايَ أَن مِي أَلُونْ فَرْحَبُونِ فِيَرْ مِي We should only fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not the fear of the people, not the fear of any other thing. O children of Israel, remember my favor, which I have bestowed upon you and fulfill my covenant upon you, that I will fulfill your covenant from me and be afraid of only me. So we should have fear of Allah, not the fear of the people. So we are on ayah number 39 and 39 and then we started 40. In 39, what we learn? When they denied, وَالَّذِينَ كَفَرُ وَكَزَبُ بِعَيَتِينَ And those who disbelieve and deny our signs, and those will be the companion of the fire. They will be abide therein eternally. Now in the following ayah, Bani Israel are addressed. Who are the Bani Israel? Bani Israel was the Ummah before the Muslim Ummah. The nation that was gifted with many prophets, many scriptures, many miracles and many gifts. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave them preferences in every way. But they took all of the favors of Allah for granted. They took it for granted and so the deeds and the beliefs become corrupted over time. They thought we are best, so it doesn't matter what we do. It doesn't matter what we say. It doesn't matter how we deal with others because hellfire is for the others and Jannah is for me, for us. It was this pride, arrogance that led to the corruption of their beliefs, the corruption of their deeds, the corruption of their words because they were thinking themselves something great compared to others so before allah addresses the muslim ummah in the quran before allah says ya yuhallazina amanu allah is addressing the previous ummah first if you notice allah addresses all of mankind ya ayyuhan nasu then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala addresses the previous ummah allah invites them to believe in the messenger who has come for their reform so that they should follow him. Why? So that they should be honored in this dunya and the akhirah. And as we study this ayah, we should reflect on our first. Because now from ayah number 40, Bani Israel is addressing. Ya Bani Israel, O children of Israel, O Skuru Neemati, remember my favor which I have bestowed upon you. I gave you deen, I gave you dunya, I gave you honor and fulfill my covenant. So the covenant that you have made with me, with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and I will fulfill your covenant, meaning the covenant that I have made with you. You adhere to the scripture, believe in the messenger and I shall grant you success in this life and the next. But iyaya farhabuni and be <coughs> afraid of only me be afraid of only Allah because the fear of Allah keeps one on the right path that is so important have the fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so in the following ayah so Bani Israel is addressed encouraging the children of Israel to embrace Islam Allah says Ya Bani Israel O children of Israel to embrace Islam and follow Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Also reminded them with the example of their father Israel, Allah's prophet Yaqub al-Islam, as if saying, "O children of righteous, pious servants of Allah subhanahu wa taala, who obeyed Allah, be like your father, following the truth." So this statement is similar to one saying, Oh, you son of that uh, generous man, do this or that, or the son of the brave person, engage the strong fighters, or son of the scholar, seek the knowledge, and so forth. Similarly, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Surah number 79, number 3, O offspring, Zurriyatan man hamalna ma'an nuhin innahu kana abdan shakura Offspring of those whom we carried in the ship with Nuh al-Islam Really he was an abdan shakura 
grateful servant. Israel is prophet Yaqub. Israel is the prophet Yaqub for uh, Abu Dawood recorded that Abdullah ibn Abbas said a group of Jews, Jews came to Prophet and he said to them Hal anna Israel Yaqub? Do you know that Israel is ya Yaqub? They said yes by Allah. He said Allahumma ashhad. O oh, Allah be witness. And Tabrani recorded that Abdullah ibn Abbas said, Israel means the servants of Allah. Allah's barakah, blessing for the children of Israel. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Uzkuru neemati yallati anamtu alaykum. Remember my favor which I bestowed upon you. Mujahid commented Allah's favor that he granted the Jews is that he made water gush from stones. Send down man and quails, man and salva. Man and salva is like, you know, complete meal. There was a, you know, salty thing and also sweet thing. So, and save them from being enslaved by Pharaoh. And also Allah's favor mentioned here is his uh, sendings, prophets, messenger among them revealing the books uh, upon them and uh, this ayah is similar to what Musa al-Islam said uh, to children of Israel Ya qawmi izkuru neemat Allahi alaykum izjala feekum anbiya'a wa ja'alakum mulukam wa atakum ma lam yuti ahadam min al-alamin this is in surah number 5 ayah number 20 O oh my people, remember the favor of Allah to you. When he made prophets among you, made you kings, gave you what he had not given to any other among the nations of their time, meaning during their time. So here we see how the favor of Allah, my support for you and your father, and that is uh, saving them from Pharaoh and his people. And reminding the children of Israel of Allah's covenant with them. And uh, fulfill your obligation to my covenant with you. So that I fulfill my obligation to your covenant with me. Means my covenant that I took from you concerning Prophet Muhammad When he sent to you so that I grant you that I promised you. If you believe in him and follow him, I will then remove the restrictions that were placed around yourself, around your necks because of the uh, committing errors, mistakes. Hassan al-Basri said the covenant is in the reference to Allah's statement in Surah number 5, Ayah number 12. Indeed, Allah took the covenant from children of Israel and we appointed 12 leaders among them. And Allah said, I am with you if you perform salah, give zakah and believe in my messengers. Honor and assist them and lend a good loan to Allah. Verily, I will expiate your sins and admit you to garden under which rivers flow in Jannah. So the covenant is uh, what Allah took from them in Torah. He will send a great prophet meaning Muhammad from among the offsprings of Ismail who will be obeyed by all people. So whoever obeys him then Allah will forgive his sins, enter him into Jannah and award him two rewards. So mentioned here 
that several cases of information about by the earlier prophets regarding the coming of Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and uh, the au fu bi ahdi and fulfill your obligation my covenant with you means uh, his covenant with his servants is to embrace islam and to adhere to it and uh, ibn abbas said i fulfill my obligation to you means uh, i allah be pleased with you and admit you into jannah wa iyaya farhabun and fear me alone so ibn abbas said it means fear the torment that i might exert on you just as i did with your fathers like that the uh, mutation etc this ayah contains encouragement followed by warning allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first called children of israel using the encouragement then he warned them so that they might turn to the haq truth follow the messenger heed the quran's prohibition commands and believe in its content surely allah guides whom he wills to the sirat al mustaqim to the straight path wa aminu bima anzaltu musaddiqan lima ma'akum so now let's see in the following ayah what it says wa aminu and believe bima in what anzaltu i have sent down musaddiqal confirming said lima that which ma'akum with you wala and do not takunu bi awwala first kafirin disbelieve be he of it wala and do not tashtaru exchange be iyayi my signs summon and price qalila small wa iyaya and me alone fattaquni fear me and believe in what i have sent down confirming that which is already with you and be not the first to disbelieve in it and do not exchange my signs for a small price and fear only me wala talbisul haqqa bil batili wa taktumun al haqqa wa antum ta'lamun wala and do not talbisu labasa yalbisu means mixing something what is mixing al haqq truth bil batila falsehood wa taktumun kataktumu is from katama to conceal al haqq the truth wa antum ta'lamun wa antum while you ta'lamun you know so they know what is haq and what is batil still they hide it do not mix truth with falsehood or conceal the truth while you not and after that waqimu salata wa atu zakata wa arkau ma arrakin establish prayer and give zakah and bow down with the one who bow down and establish prayer and give zakah and bow with those who bow in worship and obedience so in the following ayah believe in what i have sent down means believe in what i have sent down means meaning in quran confirming that which is already with you so now all of mankind all people have to believe in this quran for their salvation because of the previous nation umma that was before muslim umma and if they are told here believe in quran then what about the rest of the human everybody needs to believe in the quran in order to be muflihun success so this quran confirms that which is already with you meaning it confirms the previous scriptures and be not the first to disbelieve in it and do not exchange my signs for a small price and fear only me wa iyaya fattaquni this command wa iyaya farhamuni these are those action point that we can record for ourselves iyaya fattaquni fear only me don't use this din to on your dunya wala talbisul haqqa bil batili wa taktumun al haqqa wa antum ta'lamun do not mix the truth with falsehood or conceal the truth while you know not don't knowingly change the deen alter the religion to suit your desires because the truth is truth even if it tastes bitter to some people don't alter it don't mix it don't change it don't hide it then i number 43 and 44 establish prayer and uh, give zakah and bow with those bow down is worship in obedient participate 
in collective work of uh, khair so first let me explain till ayah number 44 and then we'll see the detail of the other ayahs so after believing musaddiqal and not to hide the you know truth and not to mix do not uh, be first to the disbelief of bala kafir and be do not become first to disbelieve in the quran or muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam message while you have more knowledge in it than other people so do not become the first to disbelieve in muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam meaning from among the people of book after you hear that he was sent as a prophet similar statement were uh, said uh, by sudi and arabi uh, ibn jarir stated that the ayah disbelieve uh this uh, surah number 2 ayah number 41 refers to the quran mentioned earlier in the ayah bima anzal tu in what i have sent down this quran both statement are correct but because they are interrelated for instance whoever disbelieve in quran will have disbelieve in muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and whoever disbelieve in muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam will have disbelieve in the quran so allah statement awwala kafirun be the first to disbelieve means do not become the first among the children of israel to disbelieve in it for there were people from quraish and the arabs in general who rejected muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam before the people of uh, book disbelieved in him we should state here that aya is talking about children of israel and specific because jews in uh madina were the first among the children of israel to be addressed by the quran their disbelief in the quran means they were the first among the people of book to disbelieve allah says wala tashtaru bi ayati samanan qalila and buy not with my versus a small price means do not substitute iman faith in my aya and believe in my prophets with the life of this world and its uh, last which are minute and uh, it will end very soon so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says wa yaya fattaquni and have taqwa of me and me alone so taqwa is to work in allah's obedience on a light from allah hoping in allah's mercy and to avoid allah's disobedience on a light from allah fearing allah's punishment Allah's statement by ya ya fattaqun and fear me and me alone means that Allah warns the people of the book against intentionally hiding the truth and separating the opposite of it as well as against defining the messenger wala talbisul haqqa bil batili wa taktumun al haqqa wa antum ta'lamun mix not truth with falsehood not uh, conceal the truth while you know not وَقِيمُ الصَّلَاةَ وَآتُوا الزَّكَاةَ وَارْكَعُوا مَعَ الرَّاكِعِينَ and perform salah give zakah and bow down along with the raqi so prohibition of hiding the truth distorting it with falsehood allah forbade the jews from intentionally distorting the truth with falsehood and from hiding the truth and spreading falsehood so mix not truth with the falsehood not conceal the truth while you know the truth so allah forbade them from two things he ordered them to make the truth known as well and explain it it and uh, not mixing the falsehood with it means do not mix truth with falsehood and the facts with the lies and uh, mix not truth with falsehood means do not uh, mix other religion together like you know judaism christianity with islam bantum talamun while you know the truth that is the religion of allah is islam and the other religion are innovation that did not come from allah so it was reported that hasan al basri said muhammad bin isaq narrated ibn abbas said pataktu mun al haqq bantum talamun or conceal the truth while you know the truth means do not hide the knowledge that you have of my messenger and what he was sent with his description which you know about and can be found written in the books that you have so it is possible that it means although you know the tremendous harm that this evil will cause people misguiding them 
leading them to the hellfire because they will follow the falsehood and you mix with the truth in your claims and then perform salah, zakah and bow down with the raqi. Muqatil said Allah's statement to the people of the book performing salah, aqimus salah commands then to perform the prayer behind the prophet. When Atu Zaka giving Zakat command them to pay Zakat to the Prophet and Barka Umar Raki and bow down with Raki. Command them to bow down with the those who bow down among the Ummah of Muhammad. So Allah therefore commanded the people of book to be with and among the Ummah of Muhammad. And Allah's statement Barka Umar Raki bow down along with Raki. It means be among the believers performing the best deed they perform such as uh, foremost the prayer many scholars at this ayah 43 is proof for the obligation of performing prayer in congregation so with the jamaat for men's only and explaining the rule in detail about atamurun and nasa bil birri wa tansawna anfusakum wa antum tatloon al kitab Afala ta'khilu enjoin you al piety righteousness and every act of uh, obedience to Allah on the people and forget to practice it yourself while you recite the scripture Torah have you then no sense so ayah number 44 a do ta'muruna is from Amar do you order annas means people Bil birri righteousness, bara rapir, watan sauna is from Nisya. When you forget, anfusakum yourself, wantum while you tatloon al kitab, you recite the book, afala tafilun, you use your reason. Do you order righteousness to the people and forget yourself while you recite the scripture? Then will you not reason? وَاسْتَيِّنُ بِالصَّبْرِ وَالسَّلَاةِ وَإِنَّهَا لَكَبِيرَةٌ إِلَّا عَلَى الْخَاشِينَ Seek help through patience and prayer. Indeed, it is difficult except for the humbly submissive to Allah. وَاسْتَيِّنُ is from ver and وَاسْتَيِّنُ is from aun seeking help. Because of seeing, it is seek. بِالصَّبْرِ through patience. سُوَادْ بَارَ sabr وَالسَّلَاةِ and the Prayer wa innaha and indeed it la kabiratun surely difficult illa except halal khoshin the humble ones humble ones seek help through patience and prayer and indeed it is difficult except for the humbly submissive person so let's see our number 44 and 45 will stop on 45 today do you order righteousness to the people and forget yourself while you recite the scripture you read scripture, you know scripture, still your life contradicts it. Contradicts it. Why does this happen? That when a person knows what the book of Allah says, yet he does not confirm to it. By his action. Contradict the book of Allah. Why does this happen? When does this happen? When a person becomes hurries, greedy for the worldly benefits. When he forgets Nisyan about Akhirah, then what happens? Then Amal on the book, Amal on the Haq truth, acting to the truth becomes very difficult. Afala Taqilun, will you not reason? What's the advice that Allah gives? This is something we need to pay attention to also, that any time we find that our action do not match our knowledge, then what is it uh, we should do? We should check ourselves. You, we know our mistake, isn't it? And ayah number 45, And seek help through patience, through prayer. So be patient, be firm, try, try again, work hard and seek Allah's help through prayer. Incline even more towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, for example. If there is a particular task in, in a command in the religion that we find difficult to do it, then what we should do? Ask Allah's help. Oh Allah, make it easy. And we are struggling with the khushu in salah. Ask Allah, are we are struggling 
hijab pass karna do we find it difficult to spend in the way of allah give charity sadqa pass karna do we find it difficult to give up some of the bad things like maybe bad biting lying us big or small things that will lead to a sinful acts because who can help us only allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who can give us the ability to overcome this all the negativity allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa innaha la kabiratun illa alal qashin and indeed it is difficult except for the humbly submissive prayer is difficult but you know when you are with your friend you are with your loved ones or with your gadgets you spend hours and hours do you don't feel it but two rakats feel it difficult because you should have that connectivity with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who has the more right that we should ask for who has the right that we should ask for anything allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he has the power and in whatever the situation we are whatever the problem we are going through allah is always there to help us so let's see these details and then we'll stop for today's lesson so the condemnation of work, commanding order others to observe righteousness any one is not doing themselves they are ordering others ignoring their own righteousness but asking others to do the righteous uh, action so allah says atamuruna nasa bil birri wa tansun anfusakum wa antum tatlun al kitab you enjoy in bir piety righteousness and every act of obedience to allah and on the people and you forget to practice it yourself while you recite scripture torah have you then no sense so allah said how is it people of book that you command people to perform bir which encompasses all types of righteousness yet forget yourself do not heed what you call others to and you read allah's book torah and you know what it promises to do to those who do not uh, fulfill allah's commandments afala taqilun have you uh, have you then no sense of what you are doing to yourself so that you might become aware of your uh, slumber and restore your sight from blindness so here yani you are ordering to others and you are not actually practice practicing yourself so children of israel used to command people to obey fear him and perform all the yet they contradicted these uh, commands so allah reminded uh, them of this fact so it is about the people of book and hypocrites they used to command uh, people to pray and fast however they did not practice what they commanded others allah reminded them of this behavior so whoever commands uh, people uh, to do righteousness let uh, him be among the first of them to implement that command whatever we are uh, Uh, commanded from quran or sunna first uh, before ordering before telling others we should first do it sometimes it happens you know even though you are telling others and you have uh, like uh, in yourself it's missing when you tell you have that fear and you you will do it but this is not it here the this um, the particular action talking about they are commanding others but they themselves are not doing so and forgot your salvatan sona and fusakum means you forget to practice yourself while you recite the scripture means torah have you then no sense so you forbid the people from rejecting prophethood and covenant then you have mentioned that you in torah while you yourself have forgotten it meaning that you have forgotten the covenant that i made with you that you will accept my messenger you have breached my covenant and rejected what you know in my book so allah admonished the jews for their behavior altered them to the wrongs that they were uh, perpetrating against themselves uh, and by ordering righteousness yet refraining themselves from righteousness so allah is not criticizing the people of book for ordering righteousness because enjoying good is a part of righteousness and is obligation for the scholars however the scholar is himself required to heed and adhere to it what he invites others to 
For instance, Prophet Shoaib al-Islam said, Mama uridu an akhlifakum. I wish not in contradiction to you and to do that which I forbid you. I only desire reform to the best of my power and my guidance cannot come except from Allah. In him I trust and to him I repent. This is in Surah number 11, Ayah number 88. So therefore enjoining righteousness and performing righteousness are both required. Neither category is rendered not uh, necessary by practice of the other according to the most correct view of the scholars among the Salaf predecessor and the Khalaf. Imam Ahmad reported that Abu Wail said while I was riding behind Usama he was asked by why not advise Us Usman. He said, do you think that if I advise him, I should allow to you to hear it, I advise him in secret. I will not start something that I would hate to be the first to start. I will not say to a person, you are the best man if he was my leader after what I have heard from Messenger of Allah, Allah Allah's Messenger Wasallam. They said, what did he say? He said, I heard him say, a man will be brought on the day of resurrection and thrown into the fire. His intestine will fall out. He will continue circling, pulling them behind him just as donkey goes around the pole. The people of the fire will go to that person and ask him, What happened to you? Do you did you not use to command us to do righteous acts and forbid us from committing evil? He will say yes. I used to enjoin righteousness and refrain from performing righteousness and I used to forbid you to perform from evil while I myself did it. So the hadith was also recorded by Bukhari and Muslim. So in this hesitation in advising people because of three things here, three um, ayahs here mentioned, you know, Atamurun and Nasa Bilbiri wa Tansona and Fusakum enjoin bear on the people and forget to practice yourself and uh, in surah number 61 ah number 2 and 3 ya maktan indallahi an taqulu ma la tafalun o you who believe why do you say that which you do not do most hateful it is to Allah that you say that which you do not do. And also it is mentioned in Surah number 11, Ayah number 88. Allah informed us that Prophet Shoaib al-Islam said, I wish not in contradiction to you to do that which I forbid you. I only desire reform to the best of my power and my guidance cannot come except from Allah in him. I trust and to him I repent. So today's lesson we start from ayah number 39 and uh, what they were doing? They were doing the kafaru and kazabu because of that they will be dashabunna wallazina kafaru kazabu. They were denying the ayahs because of the kufr and because of the lying and because of that they will be in the hellfire forever and ayah number 40 mentioning about Bani Israel and they have blessings and covenant to fulfill and fear only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and believe what Allah has sent down and uh, also do not sell the ayahs of Allah in a petty price and do not mix truth and falsehood and establish salah, give zakah and bow down means be humble and then not mix and then you are ordering others to do good and you are forgetting yourself so don't you understand that and then uh, the next ayah was fine with sabbi was salat wa inna hala kabiratun illa alal khashim and seek help through patience and prayer and indeed it is difficult except for the humbly some visit to Allah. So that ayah we will see in the next class.